Now, a case has been made for more federal presence in Bielsa State as the state continues to battle the impact of the 2022 floods. Presidential candidates of the Social Democratic Party at Dewali Adebayo made this known while on a visit to empathize with the flood victims. He also donated some 10 million naira to them. We have details in this report after which we have the weather forecast followed by business news. It has been about five weeks, but Bayelsa State is still battling with the impact of this year's floods. The visit of the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Adewole Adebayo, to the Bayelsa State Government House comes as a time the state is counting its losses. While sympathizing with the state and donating a cash gift of 10 million naira, the presidential flag bearer called for more involvement of the federal government in the flood affected states irrespective of their data analysis. The wealth of Nigeria is coming from here. The human resources of Nigeria are coming from here. Some of the best people in our academia have come from here. And for the federal government not to take serious emergency intervention, I was expecting that I would see federal agencies all over the place, making one intervention or the other. But alas, I haven't seen any. Everyone who is in Bayelsa State, either living there or visiting at the time of the crisis, is affected. On a personal note, uh, I believe that before we, uh, we come to power, we should also be able to intervene. And I know that every little thing helps. So on our behalf, on behalf of my team, the, our first intervention is to make a modest contribution of 10 million. On his part, the deputy governor, Lawrence Rujapo, while appreciating the visits of Mr. Debayo, also made some clarifications as regards the extent of damage incurred as a result of the devastating floods in the state. Bayasa is naturally 1.5 meter lower than the sea level. And so it is clear, as far as I'm concerned, like you mentioned, I'm share research for people to remain there in Abuja to say that Bayasa is not one of the most impacted. If anybody says so, then we really need to question the statistics that they've used to determine that. We believe that with support from people like you, we'll uh, continue to move on. We are encouraged and we are very happy with your donations by the commitment you are trying to come for the, for, for the charity work. The governor does not take this for granted. Afterward, the team visited some infrastructures affected by the floods and the IDP camp in Ibogini to sympathize with those affected there.